Yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy CR8, and we got a string of three games in this episode. First game is Oregon State, and Lee Carlson thinks thing Oregon State is gonna pull off the LC against number six USC. Now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade a couple of things. One man army can't catch me. We definitely gonna need that because the kind of running back we are, and these are permanent, so I can't catch two. Now, this is kind of football playoffs. We are in the outside looking in. We got Syracuse in front of us. We got Michigan State. We got Oklahoma, Ohio State, and Georgia. Now, of course, as the season goes along, we're kind of midway through the season. If a couple of these teams will lose. So, we're just waiting on the outside, just waiting to creep on in. And we are leading the Heisman Trophy race. Hopefully, it can stay that way. It's just a handful of running backs that can take over a game, and we end up, we'll slip it. But as long as we play our game, we are good. Now, we are 7-0. They are 71, first and 10. And let's see what this team talking about. First pass of the game. That good, good for your first down. Mario Williams picks up 16, third and 7. And we cannot quite turn up field as we end up going 3 and out, first and 10. Caleb Wynn trying to do too much, and he ended up getting sacked second and 14. Let's just run the ball, man. Just, just, just trying to get a feel for what this team is all about. You boy, Jaheim picks up 12. That's going to bring up a third and two, and we pick up the first down and a lot more. Y'all see the strength. Jaheim picks up 14, first and 10. <laughs> he just looking like that boy Malik on the run. Down he goes in the end zone, baby. Let's go 7-7. Seven, seven. Ball game first and 10. That pass is caught. And we pick up 9. Okay, first and 10. Pass is caught. When that was nearly intercepted. Jaheim picks up 6. First and 10. Calling for a screen pass. That is a perfect play. Oh, yo. This dude is fucking unreal. How in the hell did he get managed to get out of all of that? As we score, they score. It's just a change of, you know, punches right now. Brandon Rice picks up 11. We will take it first and 10. And our defense got, definitely got to step up, man. They definitely got to step up. Brandon Rice, eight-yard recession. We will take it. Same exact same play, second and two. The same place, same results. Pick up a first down. We got your block. This is the kind of teammate we are. Rice picks up 23 first and 10. You see the numbers on Caleb Williams. He decided he just going to dance around and lollygag around. <laughs> he ended up getting sacked. Six, five seconds left before halftime. Second and 12. And the cornerback went to sleep. And Mario Williams took advantage as we up by seven. Start of the third quarter. And y'all know, once he gets that outside edge, it's no catching this dude. You dove, you just not going to catch him. Once he get that in the open field, it's good night. It is good night. Third and 10, we catch the pass and cannot quite pick up the first down. And so he's still up by two scores. Second and seven, Mario Williams, 34-yard reception. You love to see it. It's third and 12. Bro, what is this cornerback in safety has to be sleep back then in secondary? Third and four across the middle, and that is a first down. We okie doke the linebacker right there to pick up nine in the first down. Third and two. Taking that hand off, and bro, this just. <laughs> he spin around as Jaheen picks up 18. First and 10, a read option, and Caleb Williams picks up 14 in the first down. First and 10. Bro, where in the hell is number six? Hold up. Hold the hell up, bro. Where is it, bro? First of all, y'all you, have to be playing goddamn basketball for the Oregon State Beavers, bro. You are too damn tall to be out here on this damn field. Third and seven, trying to make something happen. Nice throw, nice catch. The touchdown is the results, and that is the end of this game. Do not exit the video. We got still two more games to play. And these are the stats, man. 109 yards rushing, one score. Well, you, you don't see the, you know, the grinding out as a typical running back. Being that because this guy, he can do it all. Running, catching, kick return, punt return, line out at receivers. You, 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 just, you just never know with this guy. Receiving wise, 76 yards, two scores. Mario Williams, the playmaker of the day, 114 and two scores. Rice had 50 yards, but like I say, 
he don't really have to do it all on the ground. He can spread it out. He's a playmaker. That's what he is. We are 80 no coming in. Number five in the country taking a one and eight Cal Bears. Second and four Caleb Williams picks up eight and a first down. Third and seven. Nice pass across the middle. That boy Taj Washington picked up a first down. First and ten halfback counter. Great blocking downfield, and we nearly escaped that, but we do pick up 12, first and 10, plenty of time for Kayla Williams in the pocket, and one-handed spin and rama catch by Mario Williams, pick up 24, first and 10, that's just too easy, Taj Washington, two-yard touchdown grab, you love to see it, let's go, second and three, nice little, bro, ain't no way, it ain't no way, Number 15 got, got some wheels on it. He nearly get caught, but 52 yard touchdown recession off of just a simple dump off screen pass. First and 10. Draw play, and that goes for negative one. They were definitely prepared for that. Second and 11. I just throw out of the back, bro. Why are we spinning? Bro, it, bro if he score on this, bro, what the f? Yo. <laughs> Just give this man the Heisman. Like, seriously, just hand it, this kid the Heisman right now. First and 10, trying to sneak out of the backfield. Jordan Addison picks up 10 on the first down. First and 10, just sit down in the zone coverage, and we pick up nine. Second and one, cross the middle, first down grab. You love to see it. Keep the chains moving. Second and two, Bray bringing the pressure, but Caleb Williams dump it off to Taz Washington, who picks up nine. First and ten, read option. We just gonna cut it back. He picks up seven. Y'all, y'all just realize that this kid he has bulked up. You know what I mean? So he's not afraid. So we got a touchdown right there. He's not afraid to run the ball on the inside, bro. Get out the way. We pick up seven. That could have been a lot more damage than it was. Third and two, a draw play. I don't like draw plays, but we were just gonna run what coach called. Man, we pick up ten in the first down. Second and four, I, I seen that from the snap, bro. They was definitely ready for that. That's Caleb Williams lose big, lose seven yards, third and 11. But that's okay, your boy Jaheim got his teammate back up. He picks up 17, first and 10, using our speed. And we pick up eight. All right, second and two. We up 35 to seven. Oh, get that plot. This, this, yo. Just get this man the Heisman, bro. Like, seriously. I'm not even capping to y'all, bro. Just get this man the Heisman. Get that block. Oh, let's go. The big tight end. The big tight end. That boy Lake is down the sideline. Lake McCree picks up 61 first and 10. We just running a simple over the middle route, and this just it ends in a touchdown. But that's the end of this game. Do not exit. We got one more video coming right at y'all, man. Like I said, one video, but he are the stats, man. 154 and four receiving touchdowns. Like I said, Washington had 64 receiving yards and one score. Travis, that added 34 yards and one score. But like I say, man, one game he might kill you running. Second game, it might be, you know, kick returns. Next game might be receiving. You know what I mean? 103 rushing yards and only one score. This kid is the dynamic playmaker. He's not, he's an offensive weapon. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Moss had 82 passing yards, one score. Caleb Williams, 371 and six scores, no sacks. And here, the last game of this video, man, is taking on the Stanford Cardinals, trying to use our speed, and we pick up nine. They coming in at two and seven. As y'all see, bro, we, we, we didn't creep up to the number three spot, so we definitely want to stay there because as the season goes on, a lot of teams going to lose. We just going to keep winning. Hopefully, that's the game plan to keep winning. And we just going to keep in a kind of football playoffs. Nice open field tackle right there. As we pick up three, and we just going ahead and punch it in the end zone. Seven nothing. First and 10. Caleb wins. Get rid of the ball quick. And I don't even know who it Travis that picks up 11. First and 10. <laughs> Look at Caleb Williams with the read option. He picks up 18. And that's, and, and that's sad to see, bro, because Stafford was once, you know, a powerhouse program in the early 2000s, you know, mid-2000s, I would say, when they had uh, uh, Andrew Luck, 
Uh, as we catch the pass right there, set up so second and goal up the middle, and that's just too easy. Andrew Luck, Christian McCaffrey, those days, like Stafford was, you know, a team to be reckoned with in, in a pack of 12. But now it's just like you you just go get that block. Get the block. He joined it, Addison. Where are you going, bro? Pick up the block first and 10. But like, like you just, you just. Oh, bro, we get we yo, <laughs> yes, sir. Let me creep picks up 21. Like I say, it, it's a struggling thing to where you just hate to see it, man. Because, like I say, Stanford is one of those teams, bro. What the hell was that? Y'all go to my TikTok and look at that video, man. That's crazy. Dude, it just turned around and floated in midair. <laughs> you know? Jordan added on his first catch of the game, and that's good for eight yards. But, like I said, I'm trying to get it out, but. Teams that used to be good, it, it's kind of like, yo, it, they just went downhill. Like, it, I can name a few of them, you know. Being that Dion wasn't, you know, not at Colorado, but back in the early 90s, bro, Colorado was one of the teams, bro. The Cordell Stewart, a lot of, some of y'all people know what I'm talking about. USC for the longest time before Lincoln Riley took over, but USC used to be one of them teams, bro, back in the early 2000s. Matt Leiner, Lindell White, Reggie Bush. Dwayne Jarrett, Steve Smith, bro, Taylor Mays. The USC's be one of them teams, but they seem like they are kind of back to being an elite program. But first and 10, we up 21 to nothing. And start of next year, bro, of course, you know, this series and the Camel series won't last long. So I just want to get, oh, no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. 13, just stop running. This dude is just a fit. This is the game that, yo, these last three games, this dude has stamped his official name on that Heisman Trophy. As we do not get the shutout, just, just good night, bro. Number eight, just stop running, bro. <laughs> his name is on that Heisman Trophy right now. Like, it's no denying it. You can fix it however you want to fix it, but just get it, man. It has Heisman Pass across the middle, and that's caught the good for 14. But like I was saying, y'all give me some ideas. I One earlier, so a couple years ago, I did an offensive lineman series, but of course you had to go on dynasty mode and player lock. So y'all give me some thoughts what y'all want the next RTG to be. Y'all give me some thoughts, comment below. But that's all we got for this string of games, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all the life. This kid here is just unreal, man. You haven't seen anything like it since the last person that wore that number five jersey. But Caleb Williams, 15 for 20, 234 and one score, sacked four times. Not your ideal game, but it is what it is. 82 rushing yards, but three scores. Like I say, a couple games, he won't have that 100 plus yards. Receiving wise, right 62, we got 94 and then receiving touchdown. Hudson added a touchdown, but that's all we got. It's your boy, Sarah E. And I'm up out of here.